What is up, you do? My Nintendo Man 64 bringing you another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we traveled through Second and Third Islands, stocked up on a ton of things that'll make our journey so much easier and less expensive. If I may say so myself, I'll thank you. Uh, what else did we do? What else did we do? We did things, I guess. We really didn't do much. It's actually just following mini game subplot points. Um, and in this episode, we will take on the final gym of the game, Viridian Gym, which uses an assortment of Pokemon, but mostly focuses on ground types. Now, there are a lot of battles here, so this is probably going to be one whole episode of doing the ultimate gym, Viridian Gym. So let us take a gander at what we start with. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Well, that sucks. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Ooh, I'm so scared. Tamer Cole is so strong. Bitch, please. Koopa will own your bitch ass because he is Koopa. He is the ultimate Troopa. Bitches. Level 40, dude. Ooh, a Taurus. That is cool. I know Rhino's just shouldn't be doing this since he has the XP share on, but I think if you use him fighting with the XP share, he gets double the experience, so I'd rather him get that. And unfortunately, Sw Swagger is a good, is a sort of a good move. Unfortunately, it drastically raises your enemy's attack power, but it also confuses them, and unfortunately, the confusion doesn't last forever. So it's a good strategy move if your Pokemon's low on health, or if your enemy Pokemon's low on health, but it's a risky move. And Rhino, that should be the end of Rhino for a little bit, so let's refresh him. Full heal up Koopa, because he's such a good Troopa. Ooh, a fighting type guy, I didn't expect to find you here. But there are definitely a wide assortment of Pokemon trainers here. So this guy should... Have, there's pretty much anything. You can find pretty much any kind of Pokemon here. Like, any of the vast assortments, like you'll have a fighting type, you'll have normal type, poison type. There may even be a ghost type in here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this guy, I believe, has all ground, so this should be a bit easier. Freddy and Jim was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. Now, they keep saying our leader, so gee, I wonder who the leader could possibly be. Samuel. Sandslash, which is good because we need all the experience we can get, and Blastoise is super strong against ground types, and apparently all they have is Sand Slashes, which is good. Because they're fairly... Oh my god, a Rhyhorn. Yay! Ice Team. Goodbye, Rhyhorn. Doesn't matter how strong your Rhyhorn is, if you're facing me, you're probably gonna lose. There you go far. One Psychic hit takes out your Nidorino. Nidoking! Ooh, a Nidoking. We should do Battle of the Nidoking, but... I don't think we should have to worry about that. Because Nidoking... Oh, wow, this is definitely the LP of surviving by with one hit. Bite. Oh, of course you're poisoned now, Koopa. Why wouldn't you be? And down goes Nido King. Our Rhino's at level 40 now, which is good. I think that means all our Pokemon are at least at level 40, which is... I must say... Nope, we're not. I lied. Sorry. Thor's underleveled again. And Thor won't be getting much use for a while, so I'm probably going to have to have him use it. Him and Dragonair are probably going to be the ones that use it. The most. We'll deal with those guys next, but let's fight this guy, because he's a good fighting type. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me, bitch, please. Bitch, please, Machoke. Yeah, you're going to Machoke in this fight. You're going to pull a Tom Glavin. <laughs> and you did. Actually, no, you didn't. If you were one who was supposed to fight, let's say Koopa was going to be the Tom Glavin. In case you guys don't know what I mean by that, in 2007, the Mets had a huge lead in their division, blew it to the Phillies, and on the last game of the season, Tom Glavin, their ace, 
who they were looking forward to just pitching them into the playoffs, or at least into a one-game playoff, completely imploded. It was a perfect, it wasn't exactly ironic, but it was painful. It was excruciatingly painful to sit through. Heh, you must be running out of steam by now. Not really. My Pokemon are strong. And you have a lot of Pokemon there. Fortunately, I have Ice Beam and Surf to deal with you. And a bite. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Goodbye. Ooh, 41. Nice job, Koopa. You just keep getting stronger there, buddy. Ice Beam. Ice, 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 ice Beam. Onyx. I'm hooked on Onyx. <laughs> I'm so alone. Spent all these time, all this time making such horrible puns. I when I should be spending time learning how to be more entertaining. I tried. Marowak, just a pure ground type. So surf can take care of you. Okay, this is a karate trainer. So let's flip out. Jabbar. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage! Is it Brooklyn Rage? Atsushi. Oh, now we're getting the good Japanese name. So it's not just white guys named Tyrone anymore, or it was Jerome. I still have never met a white guy named Jerome. If you're a white guy named Jerome, comment. I will be forever proud of you for having an awesome name. Okay, and this guy should... I don't know what this guy's gonna have, so... Let's keep your far out. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. <laughs> no comment. No comment, no comment, no comment. If I say something, I'm gonna say the wrong thing, so... No comment. Rock Blast. Rock Blast? Dude, you serious? You ride home trippin' dog? The hell. Well, this is not taking that long at all. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna do for the next half of the episode. If we make a second half at all. <laughs> I don't know. The truly talented win with style. Ooh, are you truly talented? And do you have style? Let us find out! With a psychic attack! Apparently not! And Arena. She can deal with you too. He can deal with you too. Your time is up! <laughs> I don't know. There's something in there. That works. I'm gonna have to take uh, Koopa to the. Oh, you bastard again with this stupid. Hyper Potion. We're definitely going to have to take Koopa to the uh, Pokemon Center before we take on the last fight, which should not be too hard, especially with Koopa at such a ridiculously good level. And Rhino goes down. Goodbye. Thanks for playing, though. Okay, I believe that is all the rest of the trainers. Yes, it is. And we shall be back to find out just who the guy is, even though I just revealed it there. Do not go back and pause, you bastards. I'll be right back. Dum, 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 Yes, it is our good old buddy, Giovanni. Or as I like to call him, Fat Tony. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. I shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Bitch, you didn't hold back the last time. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So you think you're the greatest trainer, Giovanni? Plot twist, he's my father. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh my god, I had the wrong Pokemon out. This should not this is not gonna end well. Oh never mind. Apparently Jafar is uber strong, so he can handle it. Come on, Koopa, you got this. Doug Trio. Don't know why you wouldn't use Earthquake, but okay. 
By the way, Earthquake, the most powerful uh, ground type move. The best ground type move, at least. We get from beating Giovanni. It does more damage than like a move like Magnitude and Dig, so guess who's learning it? Level 42. Koopa's trying to learn Rain Dance. That's actually not that bad a move. The only problem is... It powers up water type moves, but it takes up it takes up space. If it was like its ability, I would use it, but I have no need for it. And you got a Nido King level 45. Shouldn't be too difficult to take out. And let's see, it actually is putting up more of a fight than I thought it would. Surprised my uh, Blastoise is faster than him. You'd think he wouldn't be, but. Evidently, he is. And the level 50 Rhinehorn, absolute overkill. Watch, he's dead. It's not like it matters. You could have had him at probably like level 55, and I probably still would have owned his rear end. And we took out Giovanni. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. No, it wasn't. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. And we have the Earth Badge, the 8th and final badge in the Kanto region. And we got $10,000, cool. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And it is TN26, Earthquake. Contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Before you got involved with the Loon Shark. Now if you do talk to him again, he does disappear and you never see him again, so... If you wanted to do that, I have no interest in it. Because it's... Ah! Ah! Irrelevant. Shut up. Just shut up, old guy. Okay, that is eight gym badges. None left to do. So, first, let's go heal our Pokemon. I actually found out a way we can ma maximize. We can expand, extend, expand, extend our level. Or extend this episode. First, we must give Thor the Quick Claw and put him in front for our team. Why, you ask? Simple. There is a fight we can take at Route 22 on our way to the Pokemon League, which we won't be doing for another episode, for another episode or two. But first, guess who? It's A-Hole. What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges? That's cool. Then I'll whip you as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Now, his Pokemon are extensively strong. You're probably going to have a hard time with this fight. Give me that heads up. Okay, good. Its speed advantage is still drastically lower than mine. And it's not taking advantage of my weak defense by using another powerful move. Oh, well, Thor is level 40 now which is good. Now we get to see his next Pokemon, which is a Rhyhorn. Completely and utterly pointless. I honestly don't know why he bothered. And Rhino goes down. And Venusaur, which should prove to be a bit of a problem. I wouldn't ordinarily send Brutus out to deal with him, but as you can see, he'd be 13 levels higher. And I'd rather something that can take him out easily here. And Razor Leaf. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to kill me. That's Jafar doing his duty. And Nido King. Eh! Ha 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 ha! Mega Horn! A super, super powerful bug type move. And I was afraid I was going to learn it this early. Um. As much as I love Brick Break, Mega Horn is just so much more powerful. And congratulations, Rhino! You now know Mega Horn. 
Um, let's throw Thor out there. I know he's faster than Gyarados already, but I'm afraid if he doesn't kill him. Okay, never mind. I didn't have anything to worry about then. Growlithe. This is the last time he'll have a Growlithe. He'll have an Arcanine at this point in the game when you go to challenge the Elite Four, when you fight him one final time. I'm not telling you when, though. That's for me to know and you to never find out. Well, good, I had no intention of using Surf against you, Alakazam, so thank you. And... Yeah, you're dead. Sorry, Koopa. Just the way shit happens. Uh, let's throw Brutus out there. Maybe he can get the, uh... final kill against you. Come on, Brutus! Yes, he does! Hell yeah! He's such a good boy. What?! I was just careless, you! That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. I need more practice. I whooped your ass, dude. That's right, you better walk away. Um... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. And the end of this recording session, which has gone on for about an hour and a half. Uh, thank you for joining me. I am Nintendoman64. Join me next episode, where we go legendary bird hunting. We will go after the legendary birds, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Maybe I'll have to split them up into episode into different episodes because some of them are in seriously hard to get places and some have we have to fight Pokemon trainers to get. It's kind of annoying, but it's worth it. So as always, I'm Nintendo Man64 signing off. Sayonara guys.